Alright, so I hope you guys are ready for some Vegeta on Vegeta violence today because we are going to be showcasing the newly Extremes Awakened AGL SSB Vegeta on the legendary Vegeta event. And the rest of the team is basically also all Vegetas with the exception of these kids right here. So um, there's going to be a lot of Vegeta killing Vegeta in this video. So be prepared for that. And uh, real quick, before we get into the gameplay, I want to go over this guy's details. So if you guys happen to already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about a minute or so. All right, so starting with his leader skill, he is the best pure Saiyans lead currently available in the game with key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 170%. His super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense. And his passive is attack plus 150%, defense plus 100%, launches two additional attacks, each of which has a rare chance to become a super attack, and defense plus 20%, with each attack performed up to 100%, evolves when conditions are met. And the condition is a 40% chance of evolving starting from the fourth turn from start of battle. And once he evolves into SSBE Vegeta, his super attack becomes raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage and massively lowers defense. And his passive is attack and defense plus 150% at the start of turn, plus an additional defense plus 100% when performing a super attack, launches two additional attacks, each of which has a rare chance of becoming a super attack, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 10%, with each attack performed up to 70%. And as far as his links go as you can see they're not fully maxed out but most of the links are pretty close so that is my agl ssb vegeta and with that said let's jump into the legendary vegeta event and on this first rotation he's linked up with the in xeno vegeta who is not his best linking partner but he is a pretty good one and you know what actually i'm gonna put the ssb vegeta in the middle because he gets the Fierce Battle Link from these kids. So he's starting with 168,000 defense. Quite good considering he hasn't stacked yet. And uh, let's give these guys a couple of orbs here. And let's see what happens. Here we go. Here we go. So my expectations are pretty high, I gotta say, because... Uh, you know, we've been waiting for this guy for a long time, and that first super does not disappoint. That first super definitely does not disappoint. Okay, so two additionals, and sadly he's dead, so we couldn't get that uh, second additional super, or the third additional attack. Um, Would have been nice to see that, but not much you can do there. And now we're watching the Majin Vegeta entrance animation, which is always... Very wholesome. <laughs> and sad at the same time. And kind of funny in a way. In like a kind of messed up way. Anyways, uh, that is the Majin Vegeta entrance animation. We got both Majin Vegetas here. Uh, I'm going to keep mine because I like him more. This is mine. And oh, you know what? The thing that sucks about this rotation is that these guys don't give each other much key before the tech one transforms so we actually can't get a super off it looks like um okay it's fine whatever this rotation doesn't really matter so uh we'll just get through it we're gonna do one super this turn i guess not a big deal although we could take some decent damage if we get super here maybe all right no super that's good that's good now I have seen a little bit of uh, a little bit of hate, I think, towards the new Int Majin Vegeta, and I just want to say, I don't get it. I don't get it. I think people are way too focused on damage as like the main indicator of how good a unit is, and even though his damage is not like off the charts, it is very very good, you know. So I don't know, man, for how good he is defensively. I think his damage is more than high enough, that's just my opinion. But anyways, with that aside, 
288,000 defense on this turn. <laughs> 288,000. Turn two, guys. Or I guess technically turn three. But second appearance for this man. Second appearance. First super. Okay, one more. Second super. And we get four. And we get four. Unlikely, but possible. Oh, okay. Can we get a three? Can we get three? We can get three. Okay, so basically... It was 4.6, no, 4.4, and then 4.6, and then 4.8 for the four, uh, for the third super. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> That's a lot of damage, guys. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now we got the double Majin Vegeta rotation as well. You love to see it. That's going to be eight orbs for the Majin Vegeta as well. Um, not getting the additional attack boost, unfortunately, from the passive, so, you know, uh, oh wait, could I have gotten a super attack off with the Goten and Trunks? Maybe. I think I messed up there. I might have messed up there. Regardless, uh, 4.6. We got 4.6 for the Int Majin Vegeta. If we had been below, uh, 88% HP, then we would have done even more. It would have been over 5, right, easily. So, I don't know what's wrong with that. Why are people complaining about over 5 million attack stat at 55%? Sorry, no, he's uh, he's 69 now. I got one dupe from the stream earlier. Shout out to my boy Wesley Wu for uh, buying me that ticket pack, by the way. Um, yeah, so he's 69%, but like, what is wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that, considering just how good he is defensively, right? But, I mean, people are going to complain about everything, so... It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. So we're going to finish him off here. Uh, let me see. So with no support, we're still over 300,000 defense at this point. Over 300k. Just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, the attack's not going to get higher. But, I mean, close to 4 mil per super with no support is still quite good considering the multiple attacks, the potential multiple supers, right? And should I use the active skill for Maj Majida? I think we save. I think we save. Until we get to like uh, the second or or actual last phase. Actually, second last phase makes sense because we would have type disadvantage there. But we get guaranteed crits on the turn where... 5.3. Um, we get guaranteed crits on the turn where we uh, use the active skill. So we should actually use it on that on that phase against the Fizz Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta so we can actually do some damage with our Majin Vegeta, right? That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, so far, um, we've seen some pretty good stuff, I would say, from the SSBE Vegeta, or even, not even SSBE yet, we haven't even gotten there. The Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. The Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. SSBE Vegeta should be even more impressive. We haven't seen the transformation yet. Hopefully we get it soon, because I want to build up that. There we go. Yo. You ask and you shall receive. Um, I want to build up that uh, crit chance as quickly as we can, right? So here we go. Let's get it. Let's get it. No support this turn. 187,000 defense, which uh, is not the best, but he does get a huge boost on his passive. 100%. When he supers. So, yeah, uh, after he supers, there is no concern about his defense whatsoever. Okay, so 3.8 mil. Can we get maybe a couple of additionals, or is this going to do it? This is going to do it. All right, so we only got to stack one time. There's still potentially six stacks to go for his crit chance. And, uh, ooh, okay, this is... A bit of a tricky rotation because I want to give seven or rather at least six orbs to the tech Majin Majita. So I'm going to give only two to my int Majin Majita and then we can give six to the friend Majin Majita. So I think if we take a super on my Majin Majita, like right here, um, he could still take some damage because we didn't get the additional damage reduction. It's all right though. It's all right though. Of course he dodges that. <laughs> of course he dodges that. Why should I be surprised? 
but uh, we were over 6 mil, weren't we? If I saw correctly, we were over 6 mil. So why are people complaining about this man's damage? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it, guys. Um, regardless, let's move. Let's let's move on from that. Let's move from. I, I think I'm too fixated on this int Majin Vegeta thing when I really should be focused on this dude right here, the AGL SSB Vegeta. So let's uh, put in some work with him. I'm gonna heal up a little bit though with the same type orbs. There we go. And let's go. 4.4. 4. And we took the normal attack for, I think, double digits or maybe like 100. Nice crit there. Additional. Should see at least one more. And there's the additional super, 4.6. Ah, come on. Why you gotta dodge that? That's not cool, man. I'm messing with my showcase right now. At least we got to see what the potential was. So that's good. At least we got to see what the potential damage could have been. Although it would have been nice to actually land that super. But no problem. No problem. Uh, okay, so... I really don't want the Xeno Vegeta to take a super right now. But if he does, his defense should already be pretty good up to this point. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm gonna give... Three orbs to my Majin Vegeta. I think he'll be fine defensively. And we're getting a token attack as well, so that should finish off the Super Saiyan God Vegeta. There's a super. Mmm... Oh, 193, ouch. That hurt a little bit. That hurt a little bit. Good thing is we're going to finish him off either way, so... We don't have to be too concerned. But yeah, if I was able to get 6 orbs with the extra damage reduction, then uh, we would have been fine, right? That would have been 50% damage reduction as opposed to 30%, which makes a big difference. Makes a very big difference. I kind of missed the attack stat. I'm going to say probably over 5. And wow, there he goes. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> that, that is, a, that is uh, it's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. Okay. Um, so this turn's kind of tricky because we got two units with type of advantage. And if either of them take a super, then it's going to be bad times all around. So I think to be safe, I'm gonna have to pop a a Whis. Let's go for a Whis. And there we go. 24 key super for our LR and six orbs for the Majin Vegeta. Obviously, taking double digits from this guy. Uh, there's a super, so we wouldn't have had a chance to actually get our additional 100% attack, or sorry, 100% defense on the super over there. So it was a good call. To pop that item and now i want to see four supers come on man you can do it or at least give me three give me two <laughs> we got two we got two uh, my standards just got lower and lower with every passing attack all right not bad not bad i think at this point we should be fully built up fully maxed out in the crit department which means that Every single attack should be a, I mean, not guaranteed, but close to a guaranteed crit, because we have 70% on the passive, we have 20% from the hidden potential. So, I don't know exactly how the calculation works, but in, in effect, it should be something like 80%. You, you can't just add up the two percentages, you can't just do like 20 plus 70, because that's not how it works, but I think once you work out the math, it's probably somewhere close to 80% crit chance now for every attack, which obviously is... It's very high. That, that's very, very high. Okay, um, that's a lot of orbs. Let's give all of these to the... Oh, man. I should have used the active skill. That was a missed opportunity right there. My bad. My bad. Uh, I think we'll be okay, though. I think we'll be okay. We do still have the Whis active. So, damage-wise, I'm not really concerned too much about taking a super 
although it would be better if we don't. 6.7. 6.7 mil. 69% Majin Vegeta. Yeah, I mean, like, what can you say? <laughs> that's not bad damage. That's not, that's not bad damage. And once again, a defensive monster. An absolute defensive juggernaut. Yeah, all right. So we should definitely be able to finish up, finish him off this turn. Um, if we don't, then oh, we just will. It, it's gonna happen. <laughs> We're definitely gonna finish him off here. Three point eight. That's gonna be a crit. Yep. Additional super. Come on, give me one more super. Ah, oh, damn. We're not getting super lucky with the uh, additionals here. Which I guess is not like a huge surprise, just because it's a rare chance for each additional super, but I've seen this guy do at least three to four. Um, or at least three in like most events I've done at some point. So we still have a chance with the upcoming SSB Vegeta enemy, but you know, time's running out. Time's running out. Okay. Um. Let's see. Yeah, screw it. Let's pop. Let's pop the active skill. Or at least one of them. Maybe I'll save the other one. I don't know. But for mine, I'm going to pop the active skill. Uh, it shouldn't do that much damage, but it will give us guaranteed crits for this turn. So the super attack, at the very least, will do some really good damage. And we also get to see this phenomenal animation which I can watch over and over again. All right, there you go. Uh, okay, three orbs for the Majin Vegeta and three more orbs for the other Majin Vegeta. I just realized actually we're running a triple Majin Vegeta rotation, so they're all Majin Vegetas at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, fun team, very fun team. There's a super. I am really not that worried about it. Not that worried about it. Maybe I should have been a little bit. <laughs> Maybe I should have been a little bit. <laughs> Damn. All right. No, we didn't get the six orbs, though. We didn't get the six orbs, though. If we did, then we would have been safe. But, yeah, dude hits hard, man. Dude hits very, very hard. He is. But, on the bright side... A lot of other units would have died <laughs> to that super with no items, right? So it's still a testament to how good he is defensively. I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, ooh, you see, that's a lot of attacks in that first slot. <coughs> so I'm gonna pop Professor Snake here, and hmm, you know what? SSBE is gonna get more attack in the middle because. I think we get a Super Saiyan Link. No, no, we get... Which Link are we getting extra? Oh, Super Saiyan, yeah, Super Saiyan. So, Super Saiyan Link from the Int Xeno Vegeta. So, I'm gonna let the Int SSBE go first. And then we'll attack with the uh, AGL SSBE. And we should see some solid, solid damage from every Super on this rotation. This is probably gonna be the best rotation of the video, um, honestly. I don't think we've gotten a better setup than this so far. So he better give me at least three supers. I'm expecting three supers this turn. Don't let me down. If you want to go ex the extra mile and give me four, that's even better. But three is the expectation. Three is the expectation. Let's go. Mm-hmm. All right. Not bad. 4.8. 4.8. That's the first one. Number two. Come on. Yo, okay, number two. Oh. oh. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> oh, pain. Pain. Well. I guess he just didn't want to show up today, man. 
I guess he just does not want to show up today for me. Uh, I'm going to pop the other Princess Snake because of these kids at the end. Um, if there's a super there, that will be a very bad time. So here we go. And... Oh wow, can't even get a super off with them. Okay, we just gotta cross our fingers and hope that there's no super at the end. Chances are he's gonna super one of the Majin Vegeta's, right? So... We should be okay. <laughs> we, should, we should be okay. Am I, am I sweating? Yes, absolutely. Definitely worried. I mean, just to die this far into the event would suck. I would still keep the video, you know, just because, like, we're basically there. Oh. That's not who I wanted to finish off this video, man. That's not who I wanted to finish it off, but okay. Okay, well, that's just how it goes sometimes. Yo, I just realized. Our HP total for that team was so clean. It was like 600,080. Just like a very clean round number. Nope. <laughs> That's dope. Alright, well, that is your showcase, guys, for the AGL SSBE Vegeta. My screen's frozen. Oh, there we go. We're back. Okay, so yeah, AGL SSB Vegeta Extremes the Awakening Showcase. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. Where would you rate him or rank him among the best TUR EZAs in the game, not including the LRs, of course. But of the TUR Extremes the Awakenings in the game, where would you rank him? Is he number one? Is he top three? Is he top five? Or were you guys just like super disappointed by his performance? For me, I think he's great. I think he's excellent. I would have definitely preferred a higher chance for those additional attacks to be super attacks. Okay, don't get me wrong. A rare chance is as it sounds, rare. So you know, more likely than not, you're not going to be getting multiple supers in a turn, but you could, you could get up to four supers in a turn. If you're lucky, double supers, pretty frequent, but three to four supers, quite rare. So that's not an expectation, but his defense is really, really good. His damage is really good. And overall, just a uh, ridiculously impressive Extremes Awakening, in my opinion. It was worth the wait. He does not disappoint to me, at the very least. And uh, that's it, guys. That's all I gotta say, man. Thank you so much for watching this showcase and enjoying the uh, Vegeta on Vegeta violence. Uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.